Welcome to a commentary speed paint an hour long. I hope you guys are ready for it I'm really excited to do commentary speed paints and I'm excited that this will be my very first one So basically what I'm going to be doing in these commentary speed paints is talk about what I'm drawing the topic of the drawing and my methods and you know just talk about certain subjects that kind of evolve around the drawing and today I'm drawing drum roll UVA. This was actually for a contest that happened a couple of weeks ago, and it was actually really fun. I'll put the artists I did win on screen so that you can follow them in the descriptions. Their art is super, super adorable, and they totally deserve to win. It was just really fun just to join the contest, and hey, it gives me an excuse to draw this cat dude. So, let's get on with the speed paint. Let's go. So you're probably wondering um, why I'm on Twitch. Well, I filmed like the first half of my process drawing on Twitch, so it's pretty entertaining. So I went through the process of what Clip Studio Paint has, <laughs> and I was messing with the model a lot. <laughs> it was really funny. I was messing around the model because I wanted to use the model to help get a good pose um, throughout the, the food, the drawing that I wanted to do for the thank you uh, contest. And this was kind of the first time I really tampered with the drawing, so I was just trying to get like a simple sitting type of draw uh, pose down for the drawing. And um, <laughs> later on, you'll see that it gets kind of wacky, it gets kind of goofy, it gets kind of weird. Um, but yeah, um, tinkering and messing around with the models and clips to your paint is really, really fun. Um, it definitely does help a lot of artists who need to get a good, uh, different perspective for um, if you're drawing a person. This will totally help out um, in like all different angles in your drawings. Um, a lot of artists uh, trace over it for references and using this to trace over is not a bad thing. Um, at least it like shows that you know you're giving credit to where it's due and the credit is definitely to the models. Um, there's definitely a huge difference between you know like tracing over something that'll help you improve rather than tracing over work that's not yours so yeah uh this is a uh, this kind of stuff is good practice so um if you are interested in getting clip studio paint um and you even want to tamper with the models i highly recommend it for me it took a while to get used to because like <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> like it's like hey, hey. <laughs> the <laughs> Um, I was having a little bit too much fun in stream <laughs> and I was just kind of like messing around with the models a little bit too much so yeah um well like I I was like what pose do I want to do I wanted to do like a simple like desk city down pose and I was also showing off the features to my uh, fellow viewers who are watching the oh yeah this is this is the weird part but yeah I was showing the features to uh, my fellow viewers on <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> this is uh this is one this is uh welcome if you if you wanna watch me on Twitch, <laughs> I'm kind of entertaining. <laughs> I'm dying over here, this is too good. Um <laughs> so I had no idea what I was doing. I was trying my absolute darndest to get this model to work because I never tampered, like I said before, with a model before, so this was very fun and very strange. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was I was just going all over the place. Um, I was probably losing it. And while everyone watched me suffer and we all laughed, we all cried together. And um, yeah, like half of the stream was me tampering with the, mo <laughs> the model. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and I was playing initial D music, um, as it's appropriate for weird stuff like this. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll get to the topic of the drawing after the model, I promise. This is just looking back at it at high speed. It's just the funniest thing. And plus, I couldn't spell pose right on the top of the corner. I, 
I had no idea what I was doing, and I'm kind of a mess of a person when it came to this stream, because I had no idea what I was doing. Clearly, I don't tamper with 3D models at all. <laughs> I'm more of a 2D kind of person. <laughs> I do prefer 2D uh, Disney films over 3D. <laughs> Anyways, enough of me being a hipster. I think I, f at this point, I think I finally got the post down or finally got everything settled down. So that way I didn't have to lose my mind <laughs> anymore. So that's good. Um, oh yeah, I was just like, I'm like, what should I put in it? And I was thinking like, uh, I'll put like a coffee little tin can, but I'm gonna like draw it as like water instead. And then I put like a laptop in there because, um, you know, Ya yeah boy, thank you, gotta be working on something. What am I doing with the model? <laughs> just, just waving her head around, just doing all sorts of things, aren't you? Okay, alrighty. <laughs> oh my lord, okay, the laptop is big. Okay, we have a big laptop. We have a big boy here. We have big boy in the house. Big laptop. Um, big lap. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's just name this thing Big Lap. What a big lad he is. Um... Oh, oh my, uh, and uh, there he goes. Oh, oh, okay. We're we're getting we're getting a size down. We're oh he's big again. Oh he's small. He's correct size. Okay, a big lap. May final. Oh 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 he he took off his top. Wow, how indecent. And on stream, you could get flagged for that big lap. <laughs> um, so I I think I messed up again. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing was a mess. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was losing my mind at this point. If only I could truly recap uh, this stream. I really wish I could because, oh boy, this was something. This was something. Let me tell you what, folks. This uh, this was a sight to behold if you were on uh, Twitch uh, dot TV dot Let's Make People Smile. Total plug-in. Uh, <laughs> oh man, and the uh, the chat makes it. A lot, a lot better, let me tell you what. And, uh, finally, finally, between me going between, like, um, <laughs> my music and getting the stuff done, I finally started sketching out Thank You. Thank You VA is what he's named on YouTube. Um, so I used this uh, particular model, like I said before, to, um, get an idea of what I wanted for the post. So I did a very rough sketch of, of thank you. Not a very pretty one, but when you're doing your gesture drawings, it doesn't have to be picture perfect. It just has to convey um, what the drawing wants to give out. Like, what's the character doing in the drawing? Even though it doesn't have to be absolutely like a masterpiece, like freaking a painting you see in a museum. It's just got to get to the point of what it wants to be. And um, yeah, I, that's for any. I know it's. I know there's like a bunch of artists you can like just like draw just straight up no gestures or whatever like how do you do that um i had a diff uh, couple of difficulties i was gonna try different methods of um trying to do gesture drawings but i just did a i usually do it with a marker pen because i feel like the marker pen does a really good job of doing a, a simple oh never mind i go to a g pen <laughs> forget what i said before <laughs> i usually use a marker pen but clearly not today <laughs> So I'm doing a very light gesture drawing, getting the pose down for what I want. And like I said, I have my reference on the side. And uh, you won't be seeing that hand like that later on. I change it up because I get frustrated. So anyways, so yes, this is my very, um, I kind of like how the hand turned out there. The very rough sketch of that hand, I like how it turned out. So yes, <laughs> that's not even a face. Yeah, there is my very rough sketch. Those headphones don't appear either. Um, and then, yeah, I was just trying to like add extra detail, which you don't really need to do for a gesture drawing. It's just kind of like to easily uh, enunciate what do you want to get into the drawing. I also want to work on like perspective. The whole thing I want to go for is that he's working hard at night and like he's like looking outside his window like at night or something because like m night is my aesthetic. And I'm like, how do I put my aesthetic <laughs> in a contest photo? Boom! <laughs> looking out in the night sky, why not? The microphone I had to change up too because I was gonna go for a complicated design, but no. <laughs> it's kind of close to like what I use, which is like the, the Blue Yeti-esque type of mic. Um, I don't know what mic he uses. I was just guessing right off the bat. Um, I did like have a couple of references on the side too. And I was using the light source in the image as the laptop screen. Oh, hello, that was big. 
Yeah, I, I enlarged. Oh, no, it's small again. Okay, I made, okay, there we go. There we go, I'm getting somewhere. So, <laughs> okay, I erased the background, okay. Clearly, I had no idea what I was doing. Art is hard. Remember, kids, if you think digital art or any time of form of art is easy, you're wrong. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> art is hard for everyone. And uh, I was talking to chat, struggling like crazy, trying my best, I don't know, just kept dancing for me to keep my spirits up. Cause I don't know, dancing at a fast speed is something I need in my life, thank God. And here's me trying to do perspective. And um, I really wanna do more uh, perspective. Perspective to me, um, I'm slowly learning about it now in my concept art class. And like, it's pretty simple actually. If you have, I don't have a vanishing point here because I did this sketch right before my college semester started, so. I was still kind of lost when it came to perspective. I'm uh, doing perspective in digital art. <laughs> Sloopy, did I just put Sloopy sketch? Amazing. Um, oh yeah, here are um, some references for uh, thank you I used. Um, I will put this artist in the description below because her art is absolutely fantastic. I love her art. And I was like, this is like perfect. <laughs> this is perfect reference I need for thank you. Um, geez, what else? But yeah. Um, I'm yeah. digital perspective is definitely a lot more easier to grasp than um, uh, traditional perspective. Traditional perspective takes rulers, and I'm not a big fan of rulers whatsoever because I hate math. <laughs> but like, girls gotta know it. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm taking probably my last math next semester, hopefully. Me going through my playlist of a lot of anime music. Let me tell you what, my friends. <laughs> and I listen to Pokemon music. And I think that was the end of that stream? I don't know. No, wait, I sketched a little bit. Okay, I'm slowly remembering the night. The night was weird. So anyways, now I'm slowly, now but surely, getting the the rough sketch over the weird gesture sketch that I had. Um, but yeah, perspective, cause it like, when it comes to like perspective, when it shows you like in Photoshop and stuff, it actually like shows you how to like formulate the perspective in those kinds of programs. And I think in Clip Studio Paint it has it too. I haven't really tried it out in Clip Studio Paint yet, but um, but yeah, it's super easy. Like you just put a vanishing point and you're just like, Boom, you got it. Um, but yeah, I I really do like how the, the sketch really turned out for this one. I've been trying to improve my style, like every artist I believe should, uh, every single day. And I gave him little sharp teeth because like he's a cat and I want to give him sharp teeth and I, because it'd be cute. And pretty little eyelashes because it's cute. <laughs> and little blushes because I like to really blush. <laughs> Blushes are like my thing. Every single type of art that I have, I have blushes. <laughs> I love so much. I, I, I love cute little blushies. Even like in like cute little like um, num, 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 like manga art, they put like cute little bl uh, blushes and a lot of manga. I'm like, yes, I live for blush. That was like that with like Sergeant Frog. I'm like, every single character has like cute blushes. I'm like, I live for that. Anyways, back to the drawing. I really like how the hair turned out. A lot of people say that I do a really good job of drawing hair. And like, bruh, I loved, I love drawing Senku's hair. It's so fluffy, it's so cute. Like, I love adding little curls and stuff. Like, majority of my OCs have like little curls and little curls are like my favorite and this is fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> drawing cute little curls and it looks so nice and I do his face nice and I feel proud. <laughs> And then I outlined it, but we'll get to that later on. <laughs> but like, I really do like the sketch drawing a lot. Like, wow. Like looking back at it, I'm like, man, I do improve. Sometimes I'm a little harsh on myself when it comes to art, but you know what? I have improved. I, I'm not like how I used to be back in the day with my crappy art. Let me tell you what. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Blur tool inside paint is a nightmare. I really like that face. Oh my God, it turned out so nice. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm really proud. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> thank you, yay. <laughs> I forgot I put that in. So anyways, um, now that we're in the sketching proportion, I don't really have any more to say about the sketch, but I can talk about the guy that I'm drawing. So who is Thank You VA? Thank You is um, an ASMR anime YouTuber who does a wide variety of different ASMRs. He does like NSFW ones, he does like safer work, he does like body positivity stuff, he does good feel type of videos. And I have been um, an avid fan of his ever since early this year in March. And I was like, wow, okay, this dude, he got quality in his videos. He's got 
he's he knows what he's doing when he like voices these characters he picks characters he can like spawn on really voice like the the first one <laughs> this is the first one that i listened to was the um akira valentine's day one i was like mom he got to it <laughs> But I was, I was like, okay, so what's up? I want to check out his other content and stuff. And like, he, he, ha he has a lot of good, like, variety of content on his channel. And then, um, when I saw that his channel got taken down because of, uh, explicit type of stuff. Which, by the way, is very weird. I'm not, I'm, I would never call anyone out. Oh yeah, by the way, I was like streaming and usually by the end of the streams, I do like little chibis. Who was I drawing? Was it, was this Daisuke? Is this Daisuke? Daisuke is that, wait, is that Daisuke? <gasps> it's Daisuke! <laughs> Who's that OC? It's Daisuke! <laughs> but yeah, every, at the end of my streams, I, I put thanks for watching. Yeah. So that's, okay, that's the end of the first section. So anyways, um, oh yeah, now I'm going back to the sketching. But anyways, so, um, like I said, I'm not calling out anyone, but there's a lot of ASMR content creators who do NSFW types of ASMR on YouTube, and they're still up on the platform, but yet I was like, okay, rude. Don't do that to him. So, um, I wanted to be nice, because I was like, hey, that's kind of unfair, because, like, there's, there's a lot worse on YouTube, trust me, my dudes, like, there's age restriction on the video, like, if it's age restricted, you're not supposed to watch it unless you're, like, 18, like, come on, Julian Romantica, episode 1 through 2 did that, <laughs> I, I think he knew what he was doing, but, like, I was like, I, he doesn't deserve to have his content taken down, or he needs to have his channel back, so, that's when I made my whole um, help thank you type of video. And I'm glad that a lot of people knew where he was at now. And I'm glad that I was able to help him. And um, now he he's um, slowly getting back up there, which I'm really, really proud of him. I really am. Thank you. You're doing great. You really are. Um, I'm still watching your stuff. I am enjoying your content. In fact, he is the first uh, Patreon uh, that I'm supporting. Um, I'm supporting him on Patreon. Such, such a lovely server. There's like so many like nice people on the server. Like they're all so friend- Oh yeah, this is when I was having trouble drawing a hand. Let me tell you guys, hands are hard. <laughs> they're not the funnest things to draw. It feels like I'm drawing macaroni sticks. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I'm drawing hands. It feels like I'm drawing butters of stick. <laughs> macaroni stick, butter of stick. It can go back and forth. <laughs> but back to um, back to talking about thank you. I really, really do like um, the server that he has. He has a very nice community. God, that hand looks so ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> he has such a really nice community. That's that's when I changed the hand. I'm like, okay, you know, what? I'm just gonna. Well, later on, I'll change the hand pose. I'm like, he's just like waving. He's like, bye. Um, thank you out. <laughs> but um, he generally has built himself to have a very caring and loving community, and. Um, hopefully that's something I can really, like, I, I appreciate all you lovelies who sit back and watch my content and comment such absolutely lovely things. I love it to death when you guys just, like, comment such lovely things. And, um, and I hope to keep building myself up a lot more so I can keep continuing to have such a lovely fan base that Thank You does. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's a very nice Patreon, like, um, if I, I totally highly suggest checking out Thank You's Patreon because you get a lot of goods if you like go into like certain tiers. Um, and it's like I said, everyone's friendly up there. You can like easily just like have easy conversations with people. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> and um, yeah, all around it's just like a nice server. Like I felt immediately welcomed when I came onto the server and you know, I keep continuously trying to uh, always like talk to people on the server and they're always so genuine and so nice and chill and very kind. But yeah, um, that's that's all for the Patreon stuff. Um, and also, um, thank you. <laughs> Let me just say, if you're watching this, by the way, I'm just gonna sound like you are generally like a really cool uh, guy from what I've like, you know, seen from like, the way that you interact with your fans and how you just like are as a person say like when you're on twitch and you're just kind of like naturally just being just a, a lovable goofball it's like it's so it's it feels so genuine and i feel like that's what any content creator should strive to be when you know trying to be real with people it's just like be themselves and it's just like 
that's the thing that but well that's me with like people mostly it's like you don't need to act like oh i don't know it's just always be yourself that's just always my well unless you're a jerk then change but if you're not just be yourself <laughs> um but I can just tell he's a generally very nice guy, and he definitely is very passionate about, you know, him voicing his, you know, ASMR stuff. He's very hard at work, and I'm like, boy, get some sleep. I'm like freaking Mona here being like, get some rest, boy. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> um, and like, oh, like his Twitches are like so much fun. It's like, he definitely listens to his like fans. Like he's just always like reading Twitch. His like t uh, chats and stuff, and like being really engaging to his fans, and it's nice. I came up with the name for Q Uru in one of his streams. I felt very accomplished that day. <laughs> Q Uru. <-woo. laughs> Q Uru. <-woo. laughs> Q. -woo. It's very fun. It's it's honestly a blast, and he also plays like characters that those headphones they don't stay don't don't get too excited sweeties <laughs> i don't think no they don't stay uh, i'll do better next time <laughs> i'll do better thank you fan art i swear <laughs> um what was i saying oh yeah he also i was i know i remember i was saying haha -ha. um he also like voices like when he's like streaming he plays like different characters like one if, like he's on stream he plays as like deku or like he plays as like bakugo and stuff and yeah, it's just really fun. Like I highly suggest just, oh yeah, this is, what, what was I doing? Oh, I was fixing the microphone cause I don't know how to draw microphones. I struggle with an artist. <laughs> but no, I highly suggest just giving Thank You um, the most support that you possibly can because he is a very hard worker and he is, I can tell he's a very passionate person for what he does. Like, he's like, I, I spent 10 hours working on a video. I'm like, thank you, honey. I'm proud of you, <laughs> but go to bed. <laughs> Drink water. Stay hydrated. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I will be reviewing one of his uh, ASMRs for my maybe possibly upcoming ASMR anime review sequel, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> if you guys want me to title it that, let me know. <laughs> but yeah. Um, cool dude, great, great guy, and he also just made me also check out a bunch of other, like, great ASMR content creators on YouTube, so yeah. Because, truth be told, <laughs> I've been into the anime ASMR before it came popular. Um, aka, mostly drama CDs, aka, aka, uh, anime, yaoi, um, ASMR, drama CDs. Look, I was just like, Yaoi was a new thing, then there was like, Sekaiichi Hatsukoi, and then there was shaving cream. If you know exactly what I'm talking about, you're a veteran, I swear. <laughs> if you know about this uh, Sekaiichi Hatsukoi ASMR Yaoi BL drama CD about like the two characters using shaving cream as lube, it was weird. You don't have to do that. Don't use shaving cream. That's disgusting sounding. Yes. Ew. Anyways, before everyone gets grossed out, <laughs> back to the drawing. Wow, I made a microphone not look disgusting. How awesome. So it's all turning out great. I really like the post that I made thank you in. I made him like in a very ooh, <laughs> like ah. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I'm voicing Akira. <laughs> oh man. And like, honestly, like, to be fair, uh, it took me actually this year, 2019, to actually get done with Persona 5. Not because I didn't like it or anything, but like, I just kind of forgot because I was like, because I was like on the last world and I just kind of forgot. But then I found Thank You. I'm like, oh yeah, Persona 5's a thing. I should finish it. And I finally did. So thank you, thank you. You finally made me beat Persona 5 this year. And now I can wait for uh persona royal and it's gonna be great and i probably might do an lp of it so watch out for that so that'd be that'd be fantastic and i'll probably do fan art of it because i love i love akito kurusu or red mama mia <laughs> mama mia it's a man <laughs> and here's me sketching out the rest of it it's really hard to talk about things when it's uh, i'm gonna make a laptop bigger <laughs> i guess laptops are pretty big but if you get like apple then they make like apple i apple i laptop mini Extreme 3000. <laughs> See, I wanted to put a lot in the back room, but like, I got really lazy and I'm like, why am I so lazy? Like, I need to focus on drawing backgrounds more. Like, I draw, I mostly focus on like, 
doing like character designs rather than actually focusing on the background, which I should do more. I have been practicing like backgrounds um, in the past, but I'm like, I should do it more often. And I changed with the blue because blue is kind of more easier to see than like bright red. <laughs> it's bad for the eyes. Cooler colors are better for the eyes. And now we're here at the outline. Honestly, the outline is actually not that bad here. Here's what I've been trying to do. I've been going for like thin outlines. Um, I think back in the day, I used to do more thicker outlines. Like, I'm talking like thick with two C outlines. <laughs> Let me tell you what. And I was like, no, I kind of like the, like you see like, if you're like on Twitter, like most people and me and everyone else, <laughs> um, you'll see like, uh, kind of like Japanese artists use like very thick lines, but like their shading is so detailed. You're like, how? <laughs> I kind of want to go for that. But like, I don't think I accomplished that well because here's the thing with me and Clip Studio Paint. I just got this this year and I'm still figuring out things when it comes to Clip Studio Paint. My main is still technically kind of side paint, but I'm still trying to get the hang of Clip Studio Paint because it's the closest thing to Photoshop that I won't get mad at because Photoshop, it's finicky. Because you have to learn Photoshop in order to succeed as an artist. <laughs> but Photoshop is kind of stupid. But Clip Studio Paint offers a lot more, and you only have to spend one time on Clip Studio Paint. Where with Photoshop, you have to pay $20 a month, and then more. <laughs> it's like, great. <laughs> but you do get a lot of stuff like Premiere Pro, and like, I use that now for my Let's Plays, and they turn out 1080p60 FPS. So that's great. And I wanted to make like the hair fl like fluffs very fluffy and very detailed. I really like drawing hair. I don't know what's up with me. I just have a thing for drawing hair, very fluffy, very poofy. And then like, when my friends try to draw my OCs, they're like, how do you draw your OCs here? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it just kind of goes naturally when I put the pen on the paper or the tablet. It just kind of happens, you know? Sometimes, sometimes I'm just like sitting in a class, doodling, should be paying attention to my class. I do. But I like to mostly sketch my class. And I'm just like doing just like new random OC. I'm like, okay, he has this weird backstory about dying <laughs> or something. Um, but I feel like that's the case for like any kind of person who's creating OC. It just kind of happens. Like, um, I think I told the story a couple of times for one of my OCs, but literally one of my OCs was made because I made a Halloween costume out of him. And now I have like an entire backstory for him. Like, because of him, he became like one of my top favorite OCs of all time. I'm probably gonna dress up as him for Halloween because I love my boy Kagi. I'll probably do a video of me vlogging during Halloween. Um, but yeah, uh, when it comes to me outlining hair, it's really fun because I like to add unnecessary details. I try to be a very detailed person. One of my favorite artists, um, uh, presuming me my favorite manga artist is Kentaro who does the Berserk series. He is a man of detail and I hope to wish to get on that level of detail one day because oh my god have you looked at the man's work like type down his name on Google and you will just see billions and billions and billions and billions <laughs> of absolutely gorgeous artwork of of stuff from his works from Berserk and other uh, stories that he worked on and, and like I know he's a very detailed artist, but he should stop playing uh, Idol Master and really get back to Berserk because we're all being patient. <laughs> we all try to be patient for Berserk. <laughs> but then there he goes again with the Idol Girls, let me tell you what. Now Guts is basically in a harem at this point. I don't think that's a problem though. I mean, one of them is, I think, a lolly or a, or a little girl. Anyways, I'm still on, what arc am I on? I'm like one, two, I'm on the fourth arc of Berserk. No spoilers, please, thank you. So anyways, I was having trouble with the ear. Um, and at that comment, <laughs> um, what's another artist that I try to strive to be? Let me look on my bookshelf. Oh my God, what's his name? The guy who wrote I Send Me Pon Pon. Oh my God, what is his name? Uh, hold on guys, I have the answer to my problem. It is uh, Asano. Uh, I love, also look up Asano's work, uh, but be c cautious and also with uh, Kitara too, because both of them do write 18 plus types of stories. So if you're of age and you want to check out reading Berserk or Oyasumi Pan Pan, please be highly cautious because they do tackle adult material. And with Berserk, it, well, both of them tackle very 
dark subjects, so please be mindful when reading both Ayasumi Pan Pan and also Berserk. So yeah, probably wait until you're older, and if not, I just want to keep those warnings in mind so that way you don't actually read something that you don't want to read. Um, but yeah, those are two artists that have very specifically very detailed works of art that I hope I can strive one day because, um, myself as an artist, I want to write my own stories. I, um, you know, want to share, um, because when it comes to me writing my own stories, it's kind of like stuff that I think about and, um, basically like opinionated stuff, but, you know, stuff that won't be shoved in your face like other shows try to do. Oh, I'll be very, um... Subtle about it. <laughs> Not rammed in your face. <laughs> like other shows try to be. <coughs> Sorry, I there was something in my throat. It it felt like a frog. <laughs> but anyways, the outline is turning out absolutely wonderfully. I really like how it's turning out. Oh my god, his eyes. <laughs> you could just get lost into those anime boy cat eyes. <laughs> You're so precious when you smile. <laughs> I mean, I did draw him smiling, so there you go. Um, I'll also be, uh, putting links so you can check out the full drawing in the descriptions below on my, uh, Twitter, on my DeviantArt whenever I decide to post it, and where else do I put- oh, Instagram. And don't ask if I have a Tumblr, I'm about to delete it, because <laughs> I don't use it anymore, and it's boring. <laughs> Twitter is more fun and weird. Fun and weird, and a trip. <laughs> um, what's another, um... Uh, let me see, what is my art advice for today? I gotta have art advices for these commentaries so I can keep talking. Anywho, what is my art advice for today? Art advice of the day. When you're writing a story, jot down any kind of idea that you have for the story. It could be the most oddest thing you have for the story, cause like, your girl writes some weird crap. <laughs> and your girl likes some weird crap too. Cause she likes uh, creators who write weird crap or produce weird crap. But it's good crap. Let's not even call it crap. It's just good. <laughs> For an example, my favorite director is, oh god, Misaki uh, Yusa. I probably butchered his name wrong. He's the guy who created Kaiba. He's the guy who uh, directed the newer Devilman Crybaby. He did uh, the ping pong animation. He did Tamaki, ta Tamaki Galaxy, which I need to watch because it's linked to the girl. The night is short. Girl Walk On, whatever that movie's called. It's a great movie, I highly recommend it. And also, Lou Over the Wall. Like, the mood, the dude writes weird stories, but they're so engaging. Like, anything that pops in a creator's mind, it's like, you're getting the inside of that person, because, like, most of his stuff is very abstract, and I really do want that kind of weird abstractness when it comes to my works, when it comes to me writing my comics. Because, like, I go from, like, writing, like, light heart hearted sort of comedy, romantic-based stuff, like the one I'm trying to work as my debut comic being Director's Cut, which is a very 18-plus type of uh, comic about a director working with his crush who turns out to be a porn star, but then, like, realizes that the porn star room moves right next to him, and he's like, he wants to be an actor, and they work together while he's keeping the secret while he knew him as a porn star. Huh? <laughs> and then you have my more darker works being um, Mr. Romance about somebody trying to find a killer. It's like, oh, what fun. <laughs> yeah, so I really, I, I want to be that kind of like creator who can do both very normal, kind of like fun, even odd, abstract types of works, and then works that make you think. <laughs> because I like to overanalyze things. I'm an overanalyzer. If I had glasses, I would be pushing them up, but I have 20 vision, so no. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do really appreciate stories um, that kind of like go out of the normality of telling a story. Because like you can have a premise of maybe telling a simple story, but taking a very abstract turn to it. Like, like I said, Kaiba is a really good example of kind of like a journey x story of like a character going through uh, different parts of the galaxy learning about different worlds but the way it's illustrated is so nothing you have ever seen in any other type of anima uh, animation before and that's why it's so intriguing to me and that's why i highly suggest everyone to check out kaiba because it's on crunchyroll this ain't no plug but hey crunchyroll it can be maybe one day <laughs> So I highly suggest checking out Kaiba, it's my absolute, it's definitely on like, it's probably my third favorite, I have no idea what I was doing. I, oh yeah, I was trying to make like a perfect like oval, I think. Um, so yeah, I did pretty decent on that. 
Um, I'm trying to think of like other uh, works I would recommend or like uh, hmm. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm trying to think of what else to suggest. Um, also, uh, watching anime movies is a good way to like practice on like color theory and like what to use when telling a story in color. A perfect example of you know showing the mood and like telling a story through color is Perfect Blue. If you ever watch Perfect Blue, please pay attention to the color red because the color red plays a lot of part in Perfect Blue. And that's like a good way to tell a story. You don't even- Cause like, in the beginning of one of my stories, it's gonna be just completely like, silent throughout, but you have to keep the tone for it through the way the character is looking and how the mood is being told by colors and visuals. Because you can tell a story without showing any kind of sense of dialogue whatsoever. Case in point, Journey does that tremendously well. You get the lore of the story so well just by, you know, viewing the world that's around your character and how the music plays out throughout the story and how the color changes by the mood and how your character is feeling or even how you're feeling for the character. And I, I feel like that's more powerful sometimes to me than having characters talk at all. I love them when characters talk, don't get me wrong. But having a sense of telling a powerful emotional scene without any dialogue whatsoever, that intrigues me and fascinates me the most. So I feel like if you can do that perfectly, like you, you can totally tell a story absolutely well. Um, so, that's my art advice for the day. What a little tangent, but that's what we artists do. We overanalyze things and we also like to give advice. Um, well, there, okay, let's go back to the Drama CD conversation. What other stuff do I listen to? I, I, mostly, I mostly listen to, like, Drama CDs. Like, like I said, they're mostly, like, Yaoi BL oriented. So, most of the time, I did not know what any of the character for saying because I don't speak fluent Japanese. I was just like, uh-huh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> uh, these glasses also go away, so don't expect them to stay on this boy for a, a good, like, 10 seconds. But, yeah, I was just like, because there's like, because I, you guys may know, but I have a weird history with this anime called Gravitation. It used to be my favorite anime of all time, but it ain't not any- it ain't- it ain't not- it ain't anymore, it's totally Trigun. I love Trigun to death and nothing will replace it ever. But like, Gravitation, for the most part, it used to be my favorite and I was- it was like one of those first animes that I was like, I could talk about for hours for some reason. I was like, Gravitation is so great, it's like a great love story between Suichi Shindo and Ariyuki. I remember the first episode too well. Help. <laughs> so, um... I discovered, like, the drama CDs with the characters, and I think either they followed a little bit from the manga or a little bit from the novels. Yes, Gravitation does have novels, too. And I own them! And I never read them! I just got them for collection purposes! If you want me to do a video of me reading them, <laughs> I can totally do that, because why not? <laughs> So I was just like sitting here just listening to like Suichi Shindo scream like he usually does. I'm like, what's going on? But it sounds fun. Cause like the like the one thing that I still really like about Gravitation, if for the Japanese sub, is it's good casting for Suichi Shindo. They got the perfect guy to just yell all the time. Uh and also Ariyuki, um, aka the guy who does cars in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Funny enough, he's like the guy I can recognize the most out of any kind of guy besides Daisuke Ono from like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure 2. A lot of voice actors that I like who are Japanese always go in the JoJo. Reagan, Rohan. It's a weird pattern for me. It used to be like that with me about Tsumatsu san <laughs> Not anymore. Um, so yeah, I was just like, okay, so they had these kind of drama CDs. What else do they have? And then that's when I discovered the itty bitty witty title at all. Yeah, we drama CDs. And I was just like, oh, what's this? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> the sound effects that they, they, I don't know. Okay, imagine you in a studio with these voice actors who are about to film the most rawest type of 18 plus audio material. You're sitting in a studio, like, okay, <laughs> ready to record, and like, you just hear these guys like matching on like mashed potato. <laughs> it's the funniest thing! Like, looking back at it now, it's the most funniest 
absolute hilarious. Oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> sorry, I was talking about drama CDs. I forgot to mention, I did not film myself coloring because coloring is my least favorite thing in uh, digital art. It takes so long, this took forever. <laughs> so we're going to the shading. Shading's like my favorite, <laughs> right next to sha uh, sketching. Uh, I wanted to do like lighting stuff a lot in this one and I tried my darndest to do so well with Clip Studio Paint. I tried my darndest. I'm like, maybe I should have done it on side paint. I was like, no, I'm just gonna go for it. I really do like how the shading turned out. I was like trying to do something different and yeah. But anyways, imagine they're just eating mashed potato with each other in a studio, just making all these quote unquote sexy noises together. Like how does, I, I know it's professionals. I get it. Cause I'm not a voice actor. I could be. I mean, I'm pretty good at voicing. I'm just pretty good at voicing. <laughs> I could voice a character one day if someone would hire me. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge. Animation studios. Um, I could be a, a cute kawaii anime girl or boy. <laughs> um, but no, I, I just, I'm just curious how like straight face you have to be to just like make all these like sex noises in front of like producers and, and people that you're not even really close to or whatever. I mean, I bet they're pretty close to like their producers and stuff. So like, it just cracks me up just like thinking it's like, okay, the first immediate thing is like, what did they use to like pretend they're like um, making squish squish noises with each other, you know, like putting their finger in the, the butt. <laughs> like, what do they- do they like eat a lollipop? Do they just like eat a, like a Snickers bar <laughs> to like make all the nosh noises? Like, and then like, like the huh. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, oh, uh, it's- it's so embarrassing to admit, but I'm going to anyways, cause like, I'm a weeaboo, so why- why does it matter? So... <laughs> Back in the good old days of middle school, aka not the really the good old days, but you gotta get by as you gotta get by, and here I am at college. <laughs> um, I used to have a playlist of uh, yaoi anime drama CDs, and uh, I wonder why I still have friends after that. <laughs> I really wondered why anyone was still friends with me after that. I was like, huh, I guess they really are true friends after <laughs> dealing with my BS. <laughs> Cause listen, I... I was like a weird, over-obsessed Fujoshi back in the day. And let me tell you what, I am respectful of um, my my fellow LGBT fellows. Like, don't, don't be a weirdo and sexualize people. That is, as Sonic says, that's not, that's no good. <laughs> don't do that, that's weird. Um, like, and there's still a lot of good, like, yaoi stories and stuff. Just, they're finally getting good yaoi s stories finally animated. Hello, Given was such a surprise, and now it's a Given that I like Given. I'm totally gonna use that joke when I review Given. Ha! Oh, <laughs> that's not repetitive at all. I really do like how the shading turned out, because, um, what I try to use for, um, a more night-related type of scene. I want to use cooler colors because like when it's nighttime, what colors do you think about? You think about purple, you think about blue, you think about blue. <laughs> you just think about all the colors. <laughs> blue, 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 blue. <laughs> Dabble dee dabble die. <laughs> oh, veterans of 2005? When did that song come out? I was like young. <laughs> when did- oh I can ask Siri. Siri, when did I'm blue come out? That's a lie. That's a movie. <laughs> I want to know more. Uh, hey Siri, when did I'm Blue Dabu D Dabu Die come out? She didn't register it as I wanted it to. I'm so sorry, folks. I tried. Why wipe, wipe your nose? What kind of song name is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wipe your. I have to listen to that later on. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Oh shit. The blush. The blush. Sorry. <laughs> I just saw that I added blush and I got really excited because I love adding blush into characters. I do it every single time. I'm blue. Da boo dee da boo die. When did this? I swear it's like 2005 or is it 2008? How old am I? <laughs> Yo, listen up. I can't find what the year. The music video was so weird. Um, anyways, back to actually art. Shading hair is also my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Shading hair is also really fun. I love adding the lighting to it. I love adding shadows to it. I love ex adding extra shadows to it. Ah, 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 I love, <laughs> I love shading hair. <laughs> I love everything to do with hair. And I don't have a hair fetish. I just have a fetish for drawing hair. <laughs> it's fun. 
fun. It's really, really fun. Um, I know like shading hair can be really frustrating for like beginner artists. Like trust me, it was very frustrating when I started, but like it turns out so much fun after you really get used to it. It's so much fun because you can just legit mess around with the colors with the shading and the lining when it comes to hair. Cause sometimes hair doesn't really make any sense. And you know what doesn't make any sense? Anime hair. You see Goku? You see Yu-Gi-Oh? You think that's natural? Huh. No. <laughs> that's why you just gotta go bananas with hair sometimes. And yeah. Uh when did I don't know, when did it come out? When, when it's when it aired? When it when it's hit airs. That's a Google response. Oh, the highlights are really nice too. Also, shading eyes are really fun too, and we'll get to that part soon. Uh, when did it come out? I swear, guys, if you already put your answer in the comment, awesome, because I don't know. <laughs> when did I'm Blue come out? <gasps> Where, when did the song go? This is the most cryptic thing. You guys, <laughs> let the top comment be what year <laughs> I'm Blue came out at, because I'm lost. Shading, shading eyes is my favorite thing because you can blur everything and also add new details. I really like it. See, I was like thinking, what if I gave them cat eyes? Like the actual cat eyes when they're like about to kill you. <laughs> but like, no, he's like the calm cat in which like he had catnip and like he's not going to kill you, but rather just go crazy <laughs> in your house <laughs> because you gave him catnip. <laughs> So I just left it at kind of like normal-esque human eyes. And it looks cute. Oh no, you know I just noticed? Why is that one darker than the other one? I'm a fool. <laughs> it's okay, the, the, the dark pupil, the black, whatever it's called, the cro- the, no. No, that, that what is it called? The, the black part of your eye. A future me editing this, please put a Google definition or Google image of what I'm trying to talk about. Thank you. I appreciate it, future me. You're you're the best friend I could ever have. <laughs> um, also, like, shading fabrics is also one of my favorite things to do, whether I'm doing it as aligned art or uh, painted. There's just something so relaxing about shading when it comes to fabric. A lot of people that I actually know I um, actually really hate doing uh, painting with fabrics. I mean, with Clip Studio, I was having a more harder time. Like I said, I'm not fully used to the program yet, even though I got this, like, I think in March or April? No, I got this program in March. Um, so it was still kind of tough for me, but I still, I think I did pretty good with the shading for the clothes on this drawing. Um, but I, like I said, because like the folds, like once, once you get the folds, it's just like pure satisfaction, my dudes. It's like, <laughs> uh, it's like more relaxing than like, I don't know, breathing sometimes. <laughs> that's, that's too much. It's even more better than, why breathing? It's even more better than, um, bread. <laughs> it's even better than bread. <laughs> What's that saying? I don't know. It's just like, it's better than bread. <laughs> it's just better than bread. Um, the hands look okay. Hands are so weird to me. Like, I know a lot of like, I, a lot of my art friends, like Mizzer, like she can do hands so well. And here's me with my sausage pizza hands over here. Like, I, I do need to study more hand anatomy. That's something I really do lack when it comes to human anatomy. It's definitely hands and a little bit of noses. I feel like everything else I'm pretty good at but like hands and sometimes noses i'm just like oof <laughs> big oof um i mean the hand here on this one looks pretty okay it, it, it looks like kind of a little bit of broken especially like in the very curved area over there but i think i was i think i was conveying what i wanted to convey in the drawing and i think that's what matters in the end um, of course, like, people will critique, um, anatomy, and I, I'm fully aware of that, and I, I take criticism, and if you guys need to criticize this drawing, because I'm here for constructive criticisms to help me improve my art, go at it! Like, I adore criticism. It, it helps me become a better artist, it helps me become a better person. More importantly, it helped me finally not draw Sasha's hands, like... And it's sausage hands need to end. I, it's been a good run for sausage hands, but I think we needed to move on to actual hands, you know? Yes, oh my god, shading the shirt. Oh, I, I remember this being really satisfying. 
Um, I had, uh, yeah, I had like a reference of like a dude sitting near a window, so I'm like, perfect! And like the lighting was like where I wanted it to be. I'm like, yes, this is perfect! I really do like how I shaded the shirt. It looks so good. Like, just seeing like the process of it, I'm like, well, this is a pretty good job, me. I did a pretty dog gosh darn diddly dang good job. <laughs> um, I'm just, wow. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Look at that, I did that. <laughs> I did good shading. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think of something that isn't fun. Well, I guess like fingers are kind of like iffy for me to shade. A little bit of faces too, because I really want to do like that perfect shading that I see a lot of artists do. I'm like, how do you shade so well? So I'll get there one day. It's just practice, practice, practice. I, I know that's like, it's like a thing's like, how do you get so good at art? It's like, honestly, it really is practice because like, say like you want to practice the, like if you want to like play the piano, you got to practice. If you want to learn how to cook better, you got to practice. If you want to learn how to sing better, you got to practice. Like everything evolves around practicing so you can get better at it. If you want to learn a different language, practice at it. Something I need to do for my Japanese class. Oh no. <laughs> um... But yeah, I, oh man, the, I, my old art from my early digital art days are just, oof. But yeah, uh, shading the microphone was actually pretty decent. Um, I did like simplifying shading when it came to the microphone. Also kept um, the shading color that I wanted on like a different, yeah, it's on like 18 settings. I know which color that I was using for it. The, the, the stand turned out pretty decent, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, oh yeah, I did put a little light on there because the, the microphone, like little puff puff, the, the 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 end of the microphone that I'm talking to right now, I it was a little dark, so I just added a little bit more lighting to it because this drawing will have a little bit more lighting to it because, oh my gosh, messing around with like lighting, especially around like nighttime uh, drawings, is really fun for me. Um, actually, recently one of my art teachers is like, uh, conveying a scene at night is really hard. But like, it's the most funnest thing for me. Cause like I said before, night is my aesthetic. I love night settings and that's why some of my stories take place the majority of the time during the nighttime. Heck, uh, Missing Key is like 100% during the nighttime for specific reasons we'll get into. Cause that's spoilers for my story that hasn't been released yet or written yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, because I always draw a lot of like night scenarios because I like to draw night skies. I just like to because like I really like cooler colors more than uh, warmer colors because like I like to relax and when I think about night, I think about relaxing scenarios. And so I put a lot of story uh, implications in my in when I like draw like when I do like my story stuff, I just put what I just personally like, you know. <laughs> It's gotta be like that sometimes. Um, I'm trying to keep myself entertained because this is a very long speed paint, but I like to keep talking to you guys because it's nice. It's like a, it's like a podcast. <laughs> would you guys ever like a LMPS podcast? Because <laughs> I would. <laughs> would you, what would I talk about? I don't know. <laughs> drama CDs. <laughs> My histories with drama CDs. <laughs> a biography that nobody wanted. <laughs> um, yeah. Um... The laptop turned out pretty okay. I wanted to put like, cause like I did this kind of on a crunch too because like life has been like, cause like in the summertime life has been kicking my butt <laughs> with like entering college and stuff. So I was just trying to get this kind of done. So that's why it looked kind of like some of the background stuff and some of the stuff kind of look, oh God, the bookshelf looks so bad. I feel so bad. I was going to put like some books in there. I was going to put like, you know, pun pun in the background. I was like, no, I'm just gonna like sloppily shade it like I did back in the day. It looks so bad. Oh, I do not like how the bookshelf looks in the background because like I want to keep it like super simplified because I want the attention to be thank you. But like, oh my god, this looks, the bookshelf does not look. Because I, I was gonna put like anime figure of like his waifu on there, but I was like, I don't have time. <laughs> I'm already on a crunch. <laughs> So, yeah, ignore that very poopy bookshelf in the background. I, I tried my best. <laughs> when you don't succeed, try again. <laughs> and I will in the future. I will try again. <laughs> when you don't succeed, just cry. <laughs> just cry. <laughs> just, no, just, it's it's all fine. Like, I had fun with the drawing in the end. That's, that's all that mattered. Also, from what I remembered from this particular recording of this audio, it was actually karaoke night and thank you was, uh, um, Discord. So I think I paused it specifically for me to sing Don't Think Twice from Kingdom Hearts 3. 
it was fun. I really do. <laughs> I love singing. <laughs> singing is so much fun. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't talk like this. <laughs> Please ignore this. <laughs> I do it for jokes. I do it for lols. Um, it is, um, oh my god, it's not even midnight. What a record for me! <laughs> I'm actually recording, doing stuff before it's even midnight. Oh. Um, water, I need to focus on coloring it more because the water looks poop. <laughs> I don't know what he's- I know he's supposed to be drinking water, but uh, it doesn't look like water. It just looks like transparent. I mean, water is transparent, so I guess I got that right. I just- I could have made it more actually really looking like water. Here it comes! Night sky! My favorite thing! I always have to do like a shooting star in the background, because like, I like shooting stars. Uh, what's that one song? It's like, uh, they're playing night sky like shooting stars! I can really use a wish right now. <laughs> I'm not really saying- I don't really sing like that. I sing a lot better, trust me. I do karaoke night with my friends, and they say I'm good. <laughs> I hope they're telling the truth. I know they are. <laughs> JK. And here comes a part that I was really excited to do because I was like, what if I do it, uh, do this for uh, his drawing? And I think it'd be really neat and also a practice for me. So basically what I did, I copied the entirety of the picture and flipped it like it's being reflected in the mirror. Not sure if this is correct whatsoever, but God dang it, I tried my hardest for this. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it looks fine. <laughs> Like, the, the way that I did it in the end, I think it looks passable. I, I bet I could do this a lot better in the future if I wanted to do something like this again. But, for what I did, from like the time crunch that I did have for it, I think I'd turn out pretty okay. Um, I would love to do something like this again, but like, and make it probably with my OCs, because like, I, I love drawing my boys and a couple of girl OCs. I have a lot of boy OCs, let me tell you what. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I just do. Um... So yeah, I think this turned out pretty okay. Uh, you can see some erase marks on the outline stuff, so that's that's lovely. I think it turned out pretty okay. Oh, I did blur it a lot, so that way it actually does look like a window, even though some windows aren't really that blurry, but whatever. Oh, what was I trying to do here? Oh god, what's happening? What am I doing? Ah! Uh, past Rachel, what are you doing? Ah! Okay, well, oh. <laughs> that's what I was doing. I was trying to copy the- oh no, that looks like poop. <laughs> It looks like mud. <laughs> Seiki was entering a swamp. <laughs> Who's coming in me swamp? <laughs> oh, I get what I was doing. Oh, that could have been utilized a lot better. Time crunch, remember. Time crunch. It turned out okay for a time crunch, I promise. Uh, will not be sloppy again like this, I swear. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think we're almost at the end of the drawing. Um... Yeah, like I said, I definitely would have added, more, added a lot more detail to the drawing if I wasn't on my time crunch. And also made a lot of effort to put more details in the background as well. But for what I got done for the drawing, I'm pretty happy with it. I do like how thank you turned out in the drawing in the end. And, um, oh yeah, we're gonna get some extra shadows. I almost completely forgot about that. So we're gonna get some extra shadows and then that will be at the end of the speed paint and then I'll, you know, sign off and whatnot. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, I, I love night. <laughs> I love messing with the illumi uh, illumination, <laughs> illumination studios. No, the, the, the setting for the lighting and stuff. Cause like it's so pretty and then like i erase like some little bit from like the darker outlines and oh why did i do that <laughs> that looks really bad <laughs> that doesn't look that great <laughs> looking back at the speed paint i'm like oof yeah time crunch time crunch remember it was a time crunch <laughs> oh i could have done that so much better <laughs> i mean it could be worse <laughs> But yeah, what I did for like the multiply layer is, um, oh wait, I gotta add my little sparkles. Oh wait, no, no, I do erase it now. Okay, yeah. So I erased it so it looks like it's the lights kind of reflecting. And then, yeah, I do that and then I kind of like blur it so it looks more natural, it doesn't look weird. But yeah, I actually really do like how thank you turn out in the drill. Like everything else is like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I do like how I did the night sky. Cause like, like I said, I like doing night sky. So it's naturally good for me to do night skies. Cause I, I don't, I individually draw each star by my hand. So if you ever see like a piece that has like a billion stars, those are all done by my hand. <laughs> Not by a particular brush. Me poking my tablet. <laughs> and hopefully that makes like a circle. 
So yeah, putting that extra lighting before the drawing's done And I think the lighting turned out pretty good And then I had a problem with the elbow from what I remember Because I'm getting VMON flashbacks <laughs> When I look at this, I'm like, oh god, here it comes, me struggling with the elbow Um Oh boy See, like, I wish I could do, like, NSFW speed paints on YouTube But YouTube ain't about that And that makes me sad Because I'm really good about anatomy when it comes to stuff like that Because, like, I would talk about all day about anatomy If I was doing, like, NSFW art I could do slight <laughs> If you guys want to For a speed paint I can draw my, my OCs <laughs> If you want to see that, uh, comment below <laughs> And I can give some good advice about drawing with anatomy And how drawing naked people is not a bad thing <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I think this is when I add the, the blur. Oh no, what the heck was I doing? What am I doing? What am- Oh, I'm adding the extra- Wow, that looks- Why did I- Oh, 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 okay. I'm adding weird light. Oh, oh, okay, that works. Sure. And I try to add- Oh yeah, I try to add light there, I think? Did, did that not work? I forgot if I kept that- No, no, okay. No, we're gonna undo that, okay. We're doing some stuff. Okay, now we're blurring it out. Because I didn't want to make it, like, flat, so I just want to blur it out to make it more- to pop out a lot more so yeah that wow i i forgot how good that i almost forgot that little one right there did i for, i don't think i forgot it <laughs> i don't think i forgot it i think i got it oh, i like the glow Ooh. <laughs> man i'm gonna go camping this like this like color just reminds me of like camping camping sounds fun right now i'm just i'm just talking about nonsense but like that's what commentary is unedited well some of it <laughs> un some of it unedited just banter <laughs> and i'm good at that surprisingly enough <laughs> um but yeah the the lighting turned out pretty good like i said um it was really fun entering this contest um it was really awesome to see the other pieces that the other people did for the competition all of them were very creative very adorable and i love the way yeah, like i said their methods of how they drew was absolutely adorable and um to the winners i will put their links to their works if i believe if they have some i will definitely put their stuff i will credit them in the links below because um you know artists they they definitely need a lot more attention and they're very talented and i want you guys to see more of their works and oh, what was i trying to do oh uh, did i get that uh, did i keep that oh i guess i do okay <laughs> um and also, like I said, I will also be post uh, putting Thank You's YouTube link in the description below if you're curious about any new ASMR content re uh, related stuff. And I think he's a really good one that you guys should check out because he's very nice, he's very cool, he's very friendly, he's very um, talkative with his fans, and I believe he's a genuinely very nice guy. And uh, if you want to do a collab, <laughs> if you want to do a collab, thank you. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> enough em embarrassing myself. Um, and also, I will be putting my links to my art sites into the description below to help support me to get my art more out there because I, I, I'm trying my best. That's all I can say. Um, I, like I said, I have a deviant art. I have um, my Twitter page, and I also have my Instagram. And possibly soon enough, I will be um, making an art studio account or what is it called art, art station account but i think that's gonna be mostly for more professional type of arts for college stuff and yeah and here is the finished piece i can't believe i talked for over an hour how impressive is that get ready for more of that in the future <laughs> thank you so much for watching this lovely little commentary speed paint remember to check out everyone that i mentioned in the video in the description below and um to thank you if you're watching this um you know, uh, I want to say thank you for just being yourself and thank you for your hard work. And I also want to thank you for helping me get through a lot of rough situations at the beginning of the year. Your videos have definitely helped brighten me up when it came to those moments in my life. And I, I want you to know that what you're doing is amazing for a lot of people, including myself. And you're keep, keep being you, keep being you. And to everyone else, please take care of yourselves. You're all such wonderful, beautiful people. And I will see you later, my lovelies. Keep being beautiful and wonderful. Peace.